Hey guys, welcome back. And this tutorial is going to be number four in my spring eyeshadow series that I started a couple of weeks ago. And this will be the last look that I'm going to be creating in this series. And then I'm just going to move on to something else. And I finally picked up the Too Faced Sugar Pop palette. And this is what I'm going to be using strictly in this tutorial. So if you have this palette, pull it out. If not, you can always find some dupes for these colors. And I just felt that uh, this look here is very spring. It has a lot of different colors in it. Um, it is very out there and very funky, but that's the way that I like to go. And so here it is right here. And it was very easy to do. And if you do want to learn or see how I did this, then just keep watching. All right, so I first primed my eyelid with the Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC. And then the next, or the first color I'm going to go in is Bubblegum, which is the pink color right here. And it's like a purpley pink. It's kind of weird how it, um, when you put it on and then you blend it out, it comes out more purple than pink. So what I'm gonna do is a cut crease. And I'm just going to take the tip of the brush and just draw a line right above my crease because I don't really have a lot of lid space. So I want the lid space color to show up. So if you have a big lid space, you can just start right at the crease. But I'm just drawing a line with the edge of the brush right above where my lid ends. So that's what it looks like, and that's just gonna serve as a guide. And so now I'm going to take the flat part of the brush, and I'm just gonna pull the color up some all along the line. So now I have something funky like that. And then the next step is to blend that out. So I'm gonna take a just a little more dense of a fluffy brush just so that way it's just, I wanna keep it in this general area, but also blend it out at the same time. So these do help a lot when you need to have that done. So I'm just gonna use the windshield wiper motions and just stick into the area, not going below the line here, and just blend that out. So now you should have something like this that's a little bit more blended out. And for the transition color, I'm gonna be using Macaroon, which is this orange shade right here. And it's orange with just kind of like a gold flex of glitter in it. So I just tap it off. And I'm gonna run that right above where bubblegum ends and just blend it out. Then I'm gonna go back in with bubble gum since I lost some of the color and just blend that back in and blend it in with macaroon. I'm gonna clean the brush off and blend a little bit more. Then for my highlight shade, I'm using Peach Fuzz, which is this color right here and it's just a highlighting shade and I want to say it's like a cream color with a peach undertone to it. And it does look a little bit glittery in the pan, but the you lose the glitter once you place the shadow on. So I'm just going to use that as the brow highlight, and I'm also going to pull it down some just to blend uh, macaroon out a little bit. So it's a little bit faded. Now I'm going to take a smaller domed brush and it's a little bit more detailed and I'm going to go in with blue raspberry and blue raspberry is just kind of like a mint color with a satin finish I would say and I'm going to pack that in everywhere where I did not put any shadow and trying to keep it from overlapping the pink color now I'm taking a smaller pencil brush and I'm going to take bubble gum and run that along my bottom lash line then go in with macaroon and run that along the lash line as well 
Now I'm taking a nude liner and as always I'm using the scandalized Rimmel in nude and I'm going to run that on the bottom waterline. For my liner I'm using the Kat Von D uh, tattoo liner in Trooper and I'm just doing a winged liner. For mascara, I'm using my um, Bare Minerals Flawless Definition. I'm just going to coat the top and bottom lashes, and then I'm going to put on my Demi Wispy Foss lashes, and I'm going to do that all off of camera, and then I will get to the blush and lipstick. Alright, so I have my lashes on, and for blush, I decided to go with the um, Benefit uh, Coralista. And I am going to use a Coastal Scents BRB S27. And this is just a peach uh, blush with a gold shimmer. So I'm just going to place that onto my cheeks, the apples of my cheeks, and then just pull it up a little bit onto the cheekbones. And then for highlighting, I'm going to use Sand from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette. And I am just going to contour the usual areas, which is my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, and then my chin and forehead. And then for the lip gloss, I'm just going to, or lipstick, I'm just going to keep it simple just because I have so much going on with the eyes. So I'm going to use the Gerard Cosmetics lip gloss and this one is in buttercream and I'm just going to fill in my lips. Alright, so that completes the finished look and I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already and you'd like to, hit the subscription button down below. And as always, stay positive and improve upon yourself each and every day. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!